So we've got an update from South Africa for you. According to news reports, the South African government has withdrawn its farmland redistribution bill less than a week after we on this show reported on the story. The South African government hated our segment and said so. They also hated President Trump's response to it. He tweeted out a response. They'd, been counted, they'd counted on not being criticized, particularly from America. The story, though, is far from over. Politicians in South Africa are still planning to seize land without compensation on racial grounds. In fact, it seems to be underway. South African media report that one of the first farmers on the list is a man called Johan Steenkamp. He owns a game preserve. Now, apologists for the South African government, and there are many in our media, say that the point of seizing land is to redress historical injustices, and there have been a lot of those in South Africa. But that doesn't apply here at all and in a lot of these cases but specifically this one it does not apply Steenkamp didn't steal his farm from anyone in fact he says he bought it legally 21 years ago that's significant because 21 years ago apartheid was over Nelson Mandela was president at the time but the government is taking it away from him anyway because he's the wrong color Western liberals support this. Barack Obama supports it. So does British Prime Minister Theresa May. So does pretty much our entire ruling class and our news media. They are all in favor of collective punishment based on race. And that is the real story here. Story here. Much bigger than what's happening in South Africa. The West's response to it. It's terrifying.